Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft Edge has finally received its weekly security updates, which started rolling out on the 11th, which was once again late yesterday in my region. Now, first of all, before we have a look at the actual fixes that have rolled out when it comes to bugs and security issues that Microsoft has addressed, as you can see here in the actual new tab page search bar, the Bing chat icon now has uh, been replaced with the co-pilot button. And I see this is across the board on preview versions and also uh, the stable version of Microsoft Edge. You may have noticed that, you may have not, but just uh, bringing your attention to this. So obviously Microsoft now unifying co-pilot across all the different apps and services. And if we click on that, um, just like it did with Bing chat, it now takes you over to uh, Copilot, uh, the online version of Copilot. So just letting you know about that in case you were unaware. Now, because we are dealing with uh, important security issues that have been addressed, as always, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And once this update has been applied, uh, the version in bold has been bumped up to 120.0.2210.133. So that point release previously was 0.121 and now 133. Now, first of all, um, like most of these point release updates that do roll out, Microsoft then takes the opportunity to fix various bugs and performance issues in the Edge browser. And these maintenance updates are common between version upgrades. They get quite a lot of these, as many of you will know. And then we get some security updates. Now, first of all, there are actually four Edge-specific updates for the actual Edge browser that have rolled out. So this is an important update. And um, the four security vulnerabilities that have been addressed um, for the Edge browser itself, the first one is Microsoft Edge Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability. Then the second is Adobe Systems JavaScript Implementation PDF Vulnerability. And then another Adobe Systems, this time it's Improper Input Validation Denial of Service Vulnerability. And then the fourth Edge specific security fix that's rolled out fixes Microsoft Edge security feature bypass vulnerability. So we've got four Edge browser specific updates. And then also we get the important security fix that rolled out for the Chromium based web browsers throughout the course of this week, which has finally made its way now into Edge. And that had a high severity rating and was insufficient data validation in extensions. So those are a good couple of security issues that have been addressed. So uh, just double check your browsers up to date sooner than later. And if you do use Microsoft Edge on a regular basis, um, it will be updated automatically in the background. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.